The fishing village of Kayansa on Lake George in western Uganda is no ordinary village. At first glance, the small town looks and feels like so many other rural settlements, but you don't have to spend long time in the city streets to notice something very different. In the beginning of May 2014, the Danish company Systemteknik installed a solar-powered microgrid that distributes clean and stable power to about a fifth of the village's 500 households. With a stable and less expensive access to power, new businesses are emerging, bringing with them new ideas as well as new information. The grid has been set up in accordance with how much the villagers were willing to spend, making it a good investment for the local community. When they brought this thing at first, they first consulted us. They came, they showed us the costs, they talked to us and asked if we can manage. And indeed, depending on the costs we have been using on paraffin, we saw it was vital for us to prefer this thing. Gabriel Kamala makes a living from charging mobile phones. With access to the solar grid, his running costs have been reduced drastically. So far, not all of the households have been connected, but the trend seems to be spreading as the system proves its worth. So far, to wait here, and to change on a barber, I've been my vision in Gasaku, I've been under the moon Romac, Nerukan, Nodia Maha, or under Lava, where young girl, Eric Machakumia bear. At the Hippo Resort Hotel at the end of the main street, they're still trying to gather enough money to get connected. And that will make life at the adjacent bar a little bit more interesting. I want, I want to put their fridge, then the screen, and play music. As night falls, the advantages of the grid become even more obvious. Here, in the home of Farida Atungu, a bulb in the living room provides ample light to study in the evening without inhaling any toxic fumes or risking setting the entire house on fire. And across the street, at the solar installation, people keep turning up to pay for their consumption of sustainable clean energy. With power at an affordable price and at a steady provision, the people of Kayanja are leading the way and proving how to make energy available through modern technology in rural Africa.